I think they might have done it again, you know. The guys at Putt Out, and if you haven't heard of Putt Out, their first ever training aid was the Putt Out pressure trainer, which I've got here. If you haven't seen one of these, I'll be amazed. But if you haven't, this is a putting training aid and you've got a little hole in here, um, which you can open and close. If you have it open and you hit a putt on the perfect line and weight, the ball will sit in there. Annoying, addictive, and possibly the best training aid that I've ever come across. But I've just had delivery of this. This is the Devil Ball, Putt Out's latest training aid, and it's all to do with your face angle. If I open up and show you what's in here, it comes with two Devil Balls, a ball marker, and a pouch for you to carry your stuff all around in so you don't lose it. You can put it in your bag and just have it loose in there, take it away. If you're a traveler and things like that and want to use it in hotel rooms or whatever and do a little bit of practice. But as you can see here, this ball is not perfectly round like your normal golf ball. Shall we talk you through the features and benefits and what this devil ball can do for your putting? While I get set up, should we talk about what makes a good putter? Put that there. Get one of my putt out mats out. To be a good putter, you need to be able to read lines of putts well. You need good distance control and you need to be able to start that ball on the line you've chosen. And that's exactly what the Devil Ball is designed for, to help with face alignment. And what's great about the Devil Ball is that you've got different difficulties with it. So you can see that you've got a flat area on the bottom here. This is your hardest setting. On the other side, it's nice and round and curved like a proper golf ball. And then 45 degree turn roughly, that flat spot on the bottom here starts to get a bit more rounded again. And that's kind of your intermediate level. So the Devil Ball can easily be used by all levels of golfer. And if you're not a good putter, you can change how hard you put the setting on to start to build that confidence and then start to go harder and harder to really test your face control. Let me show you a few stats about putting and face angle. With a normal ball hit from three feet, the ball will comfortably go in the hole with a putter face that's delivered anywhere between zero degrees and two degrees, either open or closed. A normal ball hit from three feet, the ball will start hitting the lip of the hole if the putter face is delivered anywhere between 2.5 and 4.5 degrees either open or closed. And then you'll miss the hole from three feet with a normal ball if your face is delivered any more than five degrees open or closed. But unfortunately, with the Devil Ball, you don't have those tolerances. With the Devil Ball, the tolerances, unfortunately, are reduced by half. So if you want to make your three footer with the devil ball, you're down to one degree open and closed, whereas it was anywhere between naught and two. The devil ball will start hitting the lip with a tolerance that's reduced by more than half to one degree and 1.5 degree, either open or closed. And then the devil ball is going to miss the hole completely. And the tolerance again is reduced by more than half down to two to 2.5 degrees open or closed. Oh, you little devil, you. So if you align your putter with the good face direction, like shown here, your ball will roll straight off the putter face. If you deliver your face open, your ball will shoot off to the right. And if you deliver your face closed, your ball will shoot off to the left. So if I start with my face way open like this, now you're not hopefully going to deliver your face this bad, but just to give you an idea, look at where that ball shoots off to. And if I deliver my face closed, again, hopefully you're not going to be delivering it this bad, but if I deliver it closed, it's going to shoot off in the other direction. We want that ball rolling end over end. Can I deliver this? end over end.
Oh, not bad, but still a tiny bit closed with that face. I can already see this being more frustrating than that perfect putt hole on the pressure trainer. And what I like about this is that it gives you options. So I'm looking at my putter face matching up with this line here. I'm also looking at my putter face matching up with these lines here. Now, if you don't like that option, you have the other side, just your singular line, which you can line up with your putter too. So not only has it got loads of options for how you might be lining your putts up, how you might see lines against other lines to help with face control, you've also got different difficulty levels throughout the devil ball and how you position it on the floor. I wouldn't be using my devil ball for sort of distance putts. I'm gonna be practicing a lot more closer to me to try and fine tune my face control and face angle impact. I'd definitely be testing myself a lot on the harder settings out of all of them. But again, if it stops you from using it because it's too hard, then I would definitely go back to the easier settings if you're a newer golfer or your putting's just not a strength of your game. Already seeing a bit of a pattern with my putting. They're all missing left. That face is definitely a little closed. And finally, it actually sounds and feels like an actual golf ball, which I'm a bit surprised at actually, because when you touch it and feel it, you think, oh, that could be quite hard and kind of like a rock feeling. It's not very, well, you don't expect it to be spongy or anything, do you? But uh, when you feel it, you think, oh, that could be quite clicky and hard, but definitely off my putter, I have a soft insert, but it does sound and feel like a normal golf ball. And the weight of it is, if not exactly the same, very, very similar. So off the face, the weight and feel feels like an actual golf ball. The ball marker that comes with it, I'm not really too sure what the point of that is, to be honest, because I'm not going to be marking my devil golf ball. Uh, apparently it's meant to make lining up a little bit easier, but I would easily be able to line my ball up without the marker. It might be a nice little feature for some people to use as a ball marker in general when you're out on the golf course, but I'm not too sure about that bit. The devil ball though, definitely a fan of. I can definitely see myself getting annoyed and frustrated with it. I'm gonna be using the hard setting a lot and I definitely need to stop my face being so closed. No, perhaps if I change and use just the one line, that will help. Oh. So there you go, guys, the new Devil Ball from Putt Out. Is it something that you're interested in and will be looking at purchasing to try and help your face angle and improve your putting? Will it improve your putting? Let me know in the comments down below if you get one and see a difference. Thanks to Putt Out for sending to me. Very cool new bit of tech. And one last thing, I've got a challenge for you. Who can get the perfect putt on their Deva Ball and pressure putt out trainer combo? Don't think I'll be trying that one today.